Victory or death. Victory or death, Starfighters. My name is Carlin Jones, and we are watching Wakanda Forever. If you want to watch this movie along with us, just watch it on Disney+. Plus. But right now, I have a special guest named Chris. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to be watching this uh, movie. So this podcast is just about watching movies I have little to no interest in, or maybe my guests have little to no interest in, and we try to find an appreciation for them. Um, because, you know, this is someone's favorite movie out there, and I would love to understand why people love movies that I just don't. So, yeah, Wakanda Forever. This is already a weird intro. There's, like, no music. There's no opening title. It's just... Like a soap opera. I don't know how to no. describe it. Um, that looks I, like for one, one, would like love to live in <laughs> a claw machine. <laughs> yeah, one, one of the things almost looked like one of those like really weird like crane game like claw machine things. That's exactly what I was thinking of when I saw it. <laughs> what you were saying? This is... You know what? I think this is a little bit disrespectful from what I'm witnessing right now. Yeah, to sort of write in... Well, okay, first off, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman, because yeah. rest in peace, King. That's first. Second, you could literally put anybody in a Black Panther outfit and have them do this intro, I'm on this mission. You can easily, yeah. easily find a voice actor to mimic that voice or whatever. And just show, like, you know, a mission gone wrong. He saved some people in the process, but he ended up losing his life. Yeah. I, I, and who knows? Maybe, maybe that would be a little too boring, maybe too long for the movie. But I just feel that it's incredibly disrespectful towards the Black Panther character to just kill them off screen. That's some. That's the type of shit you do for for side characters. No one cares for. Yeah. I'm trying to have my funeral look like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm a whole, have like a whole place, just everybody dancing. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> when I cool. die, I want everyone partying. I want a mural of myself just like that. <laughs> <laughs> you want the, the text behind it too? <laughs> I want the text to say "Subscribe to my podcast." <laughs> <laughs> I'm still with you. I'm, my voice is still with you, even in death. That would be amazing. Yeah, this is pretty fast pace. At least I feel like it is. Oh, it is absolute crazy how they have this type of technology and they only keep it uh, for themselves. No. That's pretty fucking selfish. And even if you are going to do that, which I can kind of understand, don't, like, just hide yourself from the world. Like, don't even make contact yeah. with us. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's no way you can make contact with America or all these other countries and continents and then expect them to just be like, oh, all right, you exist Along no. um, among us now. The 
Yes. I'm trying to have my funeral exactly like this. <laughs> Hopefully I die somewhere in like the distant future where they can like put my cast it up into space. Yeah, you know, do what they're doing and just lift it up into a spaceship or something. Yeah, exactly. And then hopefully some alien race a thousand years from now will find it and just bring me back to life. <laughs> yeah, they're like, like, we're, we're huge like, fans of your podcast. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I've heard your That'll podcast be before and I love it. <laughs> Please make more episodes now. <laughs> yeah, we only brought you back for the episodes. This has to be the first MCU movie that does not start off with the with the Marvel logo. Yeah, yeah. Because normally, it's either maybe like a tiny bit, bef- like some little scene plays, and then the logo or the little intro, or just the straight intro. I don't understand why they wouldn't do this because I like that little intro with uh, Chadwick Boseman and the logo. Just go into this and then go into like Black uh, Black Panther, just kicking ass and on a mission, and he dies. Nothing wrong with that. I think I saw on some YouTube video they were talking about there's no way that all the countries would not go invade Wakanda for their technology. (laughs) Oh, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> I mean, if this shit really did exist, I would be writing a, a letter to the president to go invade that shit, too. <laughs> yeah. Let me, let me come back with some of that tech. <laughs> yeah. Like, for like, dude, medical advancement would be crazy. Weapons of mass destruction. Uh, it does a lot more than that. I forgot what TV show that guy was in. Oh, Ballers on HBO Max. Really oh. great show. What? <laughs> if I was in that room, I'd be like, what? Did you just totally deflect what we're asking you? This whole, this whole, that whole thing is legit a, um, is legit a, um, story arc for the, for the Justice League. Matter of fact, they made a movie on it called Justice League Doom. I don't know if you've seen it. Um... I might have seen clips before. <laughs> well, it's it's basically asking the question, what is the world going to do if one day Superman or Flash or any of these heroes in the Justice League decides to say, fuck it, I'm just going to just go bad and be a villain. Yeah. There's absolutely <laughs> nothing they can do. Which is why... I've always said the Registration Act needs to be uh, forced upon these superheroes in, in the Marvel Universe. Yeah. Oh, that was kind of, those are kind of cool. I'm still. A I wouldn't mind to have that technology on. she would have. Yeah, yeah. She's got daggers and a shield.
dude. The whole world needs to be joining forces to stop Wakanda at this point. <laughs> no, if they can just spin like, yeah, so this is what happened. <laughs> Hold on. I guarantee you, if the registration act would have been would have been held and Captain America was here, they would be like, "Captain America, we need you to go under," because because he works for Shield. Yeah. She would have just got a bunch of heroes to go invade Wakanda. Vibranium. <laughs> this is so weird. This movie is so fast paced, but yet slow at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I get it. I know what's going to happen. Well, Chris, you're not familiar with, like, the characters and, the, I guess, the Marvel Universe, are you? I, I'm familiar with some of them, at least. Are you familiar with, um, with Namor? I'm not, but I know he's, like, an Atlantean, I want to say. <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> No, he is. He is. Namor is definitely one of the more powerful powerful dudes in the Marvel universe. Oh. Um yeah. Growing up knowing about him, it was just like it was always a thing where he was always kind of secluded. Like, you know, he always yeah. kept to himself or his people, but then when someone would threaten that, he would he would show his face. All I know is in a in a single fight he would definitely kick the shit out of Spider-Man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And more in, and more than likely Captain America too. But Captain America there's really nothing really special about him. He's just he's just a little stronger than the average person. <laughs> yeah, everything that an average person has, his is like tripled. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, I think I know that actress. Do I know that actress? What? I feel like that actress is in Quantum Leap, the new the, re- the new remake, Dude. which is absolute dog shit. Oh yeah, no, I've I think I saw a bit of one episode and I was like, this seems very all right. Oh, it's so fucking stupid. I absolutely love the original. Like I have, I own the box set of it. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic sci-fi. One of the best sci-fi's I've ever watched, but. Yeah, the remake is just so imaginative. I actually left. There's a podcast out there called, I think it's called like Quantum Leap Podcast or whatever, and they're like yeah. such huge fans of the show that they're even watching the remake and reviewing it and all this stuff. And I sent a long message to them, and I'm like, "Hey, I commend you guys for like being true fans and like watching it, so other people don't have to." But fuck this show. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the writing. Fuck the producers. Fuck whoever that 
male lead actress is and whoever he sucked off to get the role because he's fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> I always blaming the black people. <laughs> it could be anybody. Yeah, you know what? Why did they blame them? Just <laughs> yeah, it could have been. It really was just like it's the Wakandans, isn't it? I was like, yeah. there was no indication. <laughs> Out of everything that we've seen in this universe of giant robots attacking. Giant robots attacking Thanos, aliens. And you're just going to blame the black people. Aim for the face. Okay. I was just saying, she must have really bad aim. Yeah, she's aiming that was literally like, right at the armor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he wasn't that far away. Hmm. See now now she's getting people, but like yeah. how did she not earlier? Oh jeez. Oh. Oh uh. <laughs> shake them off. I don't think a helicopter works that way. I mean counting one of them just ripped off a door, I don't think they're gonna let go if you just shake it a bit. Yeah. I don't know who this lady is. She's kind of cute, though. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> it's the eyes. You sure it's not the the water mask or whatever? I it is feel like has. the water mask is throwing me off to make it make me believe that she's like ugly or whatever. But I think she's kind of cute. What? <laughs> Do not know what the fuck is happening. I almost felt like that entire scene could have been skipped and we could have just watched like a news reporting of like countless murdered into the ocean no signs yeah. of any anything no foul play or whatever i feel like that would have like, been like amazing yeah or like see the clip of like the helicopter like going in the ocean yeah hey is that anderson cooper i think it is what the fuck is he doing in an mcu oh shit i guess he's in the mcu universe i always find it funny when shows put like re like regular people in their universe yeah Cause then at that point I'm like, all right, then what is Michael Jordan doing <laughs> during like the Thanos attack or Miley Cyrus? Is she like, is she okay? <clears throat> if I'm willing to take a wild guess, I'm willing to think that Wakanda is basically a metaphor for what Africa should be. Because, you know, Africa has, like, the richest resources in the world. The most yeah. and richest resources in the world, and yet most of the most of the people who live there are like just poor. Hmm. 
Wait, was that meant to be like a joke? The her AI is in like the movies because it's an MCU. <laughs> I I think maybe it's a joke towards Tony Stark because he created Ultron, who was an AI. Yeah. There's a really good quote on that. It's like, and uh, uh, computers are great because they because they do exactly what you tell them to do. But they're really awful because they do exactly what you tell them to do. <laughs> yeah. Wait, this doesn't make sense. This is like completely what like against what Wakanda is. Every year or every so often they have battles. And I think they even show that in the first one, but in the comics they have like an arena battle of like who wants to be the next Black Panther because it's such yeah. a tradition, you know, it's such a a thing that everyone respects. Yeah. So if the first one died, or this one died, which, by the way, I'm willing to bet a thousand bucks that Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther in the MCU universe was not the first Black Panther. Right? There's yeah. always one that comes after it. So it doesn't make sense after a year later that it's still void. Yeah. Because you would think they would get somebody at least to... Or even if they don't have the traditional like duel to see who would be the next Black Panther, they'd get somebody to sort of step up and you know fill that void. Um. Yeah. It that doesn't that doesn't make sense. And if anything, I would expect the people of Wakanda would try to overthrow the government or the queen if you're just keeping this shit vacated right that's almost like that's almost like brazil saying we will no longer compete in the world cup (laughs) people will riot I wonder what makes her qualified to be the Black Panther. Yeah. I'm going to be highly against her being it if if she just thinks it's it should just be passed down to her because she's a relative. Cuz that's not the purpose of being a Black Panther. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too deep about this. Like I do with all movies. You should have saw me watching this anime that I'm making for my um, the review I'm making for my channel. I was just yelling at my fucking TV screen. And it was like, it's like an anime for kids too. So it's like this little girl and she's like, oh, I can't do something. I have no confidence. Literally yelling at the TV screen. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey Chris. Yeah. You know, um, remember that game I told you about about like the gallery and that girl strapped yeah. me to a chair <laughs> trying to blow With me a up. Bomb right underneath. Well, yeah. that was very uh, traumatic. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to inform you that the same 
uh, company, because they're like my favorite fucking film company, they're yeah. making a sequel to my favorite interactive game of all time, Five Dates, and it's called Ten Dates, and it comes out in 17 hours, and I'm so excited to, to play it. Should do like a Twitch live stream of you gaming. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm going to start doing that because on my Discord, G3, he's like, I really want you to do a, a, a live stream of like a Duke Nukem game. Well, I never played a Duke Nukem before. Sorry, I was about to say that'd be fun, and then I, I heard an elephant just <laughs> go off. Yeah, that's weird. Fun fact Element is like, an elephant is my favorite animal in the animal kingdom. I don't know what they're amazing. Would be. Oh, what? Okay, so the question is: Do those wings still work underwater? Or that's a great fucking question. <laughs> they would have to be going insanely fast. Okay, I gotta admit, that was kind of cool. <laughs> Wait, the way he said it? Yeah, when he was like, well, my enemies, they call me. <laughs> I was like, whoa, okay. He's very passive-aggressive. <laughs> That sounds fair. That sounds fair. That's understandable. Yeah. Weird. What if they just mess with him and, and blow into it and then throw it in the ocean? Just have him come back out <laughs> <laughs> after he like just went in back. In. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny.
Yeah. What do we care about Americans? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, that did happen. Oh, that was actually one of the biggest fucking plot holes in the first movie. Yeah, that made it first. Actually, now that I think of it, my my views of the first Black Panther movie was it was very stupid. But I'll always support it because it's just a black film. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You know, I like how she said that because I, too, didn't like the look of that armor. (laughs) Yeah, it's just like something no one should wear. (laughs) If I'm going to war, I want to at least be comfortable. Or at least look cool. Yeah. (laughs) You see what Iron Man rocking? Like, let me (laughs) get me someone one of those. Give me something similar. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Only in black. Damn. It's been a whole year. Granted, I don't think anyone can ever get over losing a loved one, but still. Yeah. I wonder if there's any white people in Wakanda. I don't know. Like wait, I think this like, is who I think it is. Like biracial people. Yeah. <gasps> is this who you think they thought it was? Yes, they brought him back. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, a bee did that to me once. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even joking. A bee, a bee, literally cornered me one day and was like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> I swear to you. I've heard that heard that line from women many times. <laughs> I ain't trusting you. <laughs> Word. Black people trusting the CIA? Yeah, right. Get out of here. Oh, is this supposed to be what's her face? Um, you ever heard of Ironheart? You ever seen yeah. that? Yeah, I think comic this series? is meant to be. Two, it is. Yeah. So when Iron Man, I guess, died in the Marvel universe, they're like, "Well, we need someone else." So we're yeah. just gonna make this little black girl be the next Iron Man. <laughs>
Tila. Now they're hesitant because she's actually black. <laughs> <laughs> I fucks with that though. Now I no, I don't want them to give them to give it give it uh give them the scientists either. Did they film this in Atlanta? I'm not too sure. I don't know. Yeah, I know a bunch of people who worked on the first one. <laughs> Man, that was good times. I always love it when major films come into town and everyone's trying to work on them. So all the lesser stuff is like free. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Uh. Freaking, yeah, freaking amazing. I thought she said she could blend in as a student. People know you. <laughs> How old is she? I guess at least first year in high in college. I want to say. Yeah. Just I'm just saying. Yeah. The actress definitely looks like she's in her 30s. Nothing wrong with that, I guess, but I'm just saying yeah. she just looks. It doesn't look like what it's trying to perceive to be. Yeah. Wait, how did she even get in there? <laughs> Damn, was that a speaker? Dang. What the hell is going on? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Me personally, I don't think I'd let that row slide. <laughs> No, no. Uh, in the black community, I feel like the thing that can really attack a person's heart is if you comment on their hair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is like the number one thing. You can say whatever you want about their mama, about their baby mama, baby yeah. daddy, whatever, but not the hair. I wish I had an AI that actually wants yeah. to help me. <laughs> Not really want to spy on me uh, and sell I'm me really shit. I'm curious what the AI's voice is or who voices the AI. Oh, man. I would love that. Like, custom voice. I would to Oh, my God. I would. 
My AI would be set to Kara Knightley's voice. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What would be your uh, your um, AI's voice? Honestly, I I don't know who I'd pick. So apparently the the AI is voiced by Trevor Noah. Uh, it doesn't sound like him. Yeah, I think there's like a couple bits that sort of sounded like him. That's that's like the equivalent of Vin Diesel voicing Groot. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> you could have just found any old Joe to do that. Yeah. We good. This movie, most of this movie is like in the fucking dark. <laughs> yeah, there's a beach scene that just happened when they attacked the, the yeah. boat. <laughs> what? <laughs> this shit is weird. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Who is driving that police car? <laughs> like, bro, what? <laughs> yeah, why did they just park there? Especially when they saw the other car coming up. <laughs> Dude. Dang. That cop car did not move out the way. It was just like, fuck it. Shit is so weird. I don't even know how to fucking feel about this scene. Yeah. She's a dumbass. What are you doing? Now someone's going to get hit by that drone. (laughs) 
Well, that was convenient. Oh, yeah, for sure. (laughs) (laughs) How many people do you think died right then and there? Oh, definitely a good amount. Wait. Oh, is that like... Oh, okay. It's a water bomb. Didn't we tell this fool we will call him when we get the scientist? Yeah. I gotta move. They know how to make an entrance. <laughs> and what's her name? It's fine. Uh, I'm, once she takes that mask off, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to her real quick. <laughs> I can... I yeah, can, you can negotiate. Just tell her you're the scientist. Yes, yes. Now you're actually thinking, I'm Chris. the scientist. <laughs> no, no, it's me. <laughs> two plus two is four. <laughs> you know, it, it does make me question. Why are these? Why are they specifically blue? If um, Mr. Namor, Na- Mr. Namor wasn't blue earlier. Maybe maybe it's a military thing, right? Like certain generals or privates or oh, whatever can be uh, or, or painted certain colors. Kind of like how the yeah. Aztecs used to do way back when. Oh, maybe. I would love to see Spider-Man, not Tom Holland Spider-Man, but just Spider-Man in general fight this guy. (laughs) I do like how there's no music in this. Yeah, it's just straight, just the fight and all that. Oh! Spider-Man would have redirected that shit. No. That's the cute girl, right? Take me to you, your leader. <laughs> and back to your place. <laughs>
I can't believe she would allow them to do that. Yeah, like, that could have been poison for all she knows. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking stupid. I like that action scene, though. That was pro- that was definitely yeah. one of the better action scenes that I've seen in the MCU. Just from the fact there's, like, no fucking cuts. Yeah. Or at least not as many as what there normally would be. Even this man's like, that was kind of racially motivated to assume the Wakandans. Yeah. yeah. Fucking racist. <laughs> he was like, sorry, what? <laughs> Who the hell is this? Wasn't this a lady? Um, did you watch, what is it? It was Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Nope. Okay. I didn't I watch any she, of those fucking shows. Yeah. I think she appeared at the end of it or something. I don't remember what her role was, <laughs> but I know she appeared in it. Sounds about right for every every fucking MCU show. Yeah. You only got to watch the, the pilot episode and the last episode. I'm sorry. You're telling me nobody saw him just grab that? <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. Oh, oh, this is in my pocket the whole time, guys. <laughs> There's, they should have at least had one dude like, I don't think you should touch that, sir. That's fair. That's fair. It sounds like a dictatorship. Yeah. That's why I hate the first one so much. You mean there was no rules to set in place when a Killmonger was like, all right, I'm the king now. Burn all that shit so I can be the only Black Panther. <laughs> yeah. Fucking crazy. Well, that was that wasn't her fault though. She's literally doing what she's she's there to serve the throne, no matter who's on it. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't like this Angela Bassett character anymore. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> you speaking nonsense. <laughs> if anything. Wait a second. If anything, you remember Black Panther, Chris? The first one? Yeah. I love Killmonger. I thought he was the yeah, right leader. No. I, I really like Killmonger's character in that. He's honestly, besides like Thanos, but but Thanos is like he had more movies, but I think besides Thanos, Killmonger is the greatest MCU villain. Yeah, no. I still remember when he he like I think it was at the waterfall, you know, because he had all the dots. 
where he was like, yeah. they're all for kills, I got. And he takes off his shirt and like his chest is covered in them. Mm-hmm. Being yeah. like, this is how many people he's killed. Badass. I'll do that, that too, if I, if I can so pull that Namor chick. <laughs> <laughs> Start covering my entire chest with dots. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. Dude, she looks so freaking pretty. I guarantee. Woo, wait till she pulls her hair down. I guarantee you, there's gonna be a moment in the movie. <laughs> she's, gonna, she's gonna pull her hair down. And it's gonna like the, the whole world is gonna stop. Dude, I have like the perfect pickup lines for her too. I would be like, "Yo, Thanos got the Infinity Stones." Time stone, soul stone, but he's missing one more. Your beauty. <laughs> Ooh. This doesn't make any sense. Like, all of this doesn't make sense. What agency is this? This is the CIA, right? Or FBI? I think something along the lines. So, they do know there are multiple agencies. And not even, like, just talking, like, in the Marvel Universe. But in the MCU Universe yeah. that they don't answer to. Like, literally, these other agencies don't answer to you. And they can do whatever the hell they want. And they would be more reluctant to have this type of response than the Wakandans. Yeah. Like shield. I'm surprised they don't, they don't go talk to shield and their personnel. Cause they do this kind of shit all the time. Yeah. One of my favorite characters, like newly comic book characters, that I don't think they'll ever they'll ever discuss in MCU. But one of my favorite characters is oh, what's her name? Abigail Branch. She is freaking amazing. She has all green hair. Ah. <laughs> so it's like you know how Shield Shield is kind of like it's like Homeland Security only for earth right yeah. sword is the exact same company of shield like they're in the same government they answer to the same people only their jurisdiction is for anything that threatens earth in a galactic scale that that's coming from outer space they respond to that yeah and she's in charge of that entire department like she's a director of it she's like badass she's funny She's awesome. And she she's in a romantic relationship with Beast from X-Men. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Yeah, she looks completely human too. But she's not. No. Wait, who the hell is it? Wait, what happened to her? Um I think they're the plot point is that she left Wakanda and she's here now. What? Like a mistress. Or <laughs> Why something. would you leave? <laughs> Let me guess. She dating a white dude too. That's crazy. Why on earth would you leave? And how are you able to leave? Isn't she royalty? Pretty sure. She's like part of one of the main like five families. Yeah, there's no way they would allow you to do this. To be amongst Americans or not even Americans, excuse me, like just earth yeah. people. Well, is that her? Is that her? I, I couldn't tell. I, I don't think it was. No. 
No. I think that was just the, like, you know, security guard or whatever. Yeah. I got excited. That's her. That, that is that her? <laughs> I'm getting excited. I think so. That's that's her. That's her. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till she puts her hair down. When did that happen in Star Wars? I don't even know. No, I don't think that happened in Star Wars. I think she's just talking shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that never... Princess Leia never accepted... No, Princess Leia never accepted a an outfit after being captured... And still being treated as a guest. Jabba the Hutt put her in like a slave outfit. But that was against her will. So that's yeah. different. Yeah that's completely different. And I'm sure Sh- Sh- Shuri explained to her. That they allowed themselves to be taken. Yeah. <laughs> Is this Spanish? Might be. That's crazy how people people today still live like this. Yeah. When there's like Instagram and Twitter running around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Crazy world we're living in. Can't wait for this 10 dates game. Cannot wait. <laughs> I'm going to be hooked up with five five blind dates, maybe 10 blind dates. Random people. I don't like this Namor dude. Every fucking question we ask this guy, he wants to say another question to answer it.
Yeah, don't drink that. No. Nah. <laughs> oh. This is like something out of um Apocalypto. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic movie. Love that film. How do they know the baby's sick? You said what? They, the subtitle is something where one of them said, your baby is sick, but I'm like, how do they know? They don't know. They're just bullshitting. These Aztecs, Mayans people, these are the same These are the oh. same group of individuals that thought, they thought sacrificing people would make the gods happy, when in yeah. actuality, it was just a lunar eclipse happening. <laughs> Okay, wait, so... Alright. Now I already have thousands of questions on how they're able to do this shit. Yeah. Wait, but they they kind of don't look blue underwater. (laughs) 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 I don't know why that was so funny. (laughs) I think it was how the baby was floating. Babe is like, what up? <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> the baby's literally floating how I float in pool parties. <laughs> He's so comfortable. Wait. If, if she, okay, so if she drank the the weird blue stuff that you know made them all like only need water, mm-hmm. then shouldn't he technically be have like a little blue or something? I think maybe it's half blue. Right? That's Isn't what, that how it works? May, yeah, like he sort of maybe can like do what they can do but he doesn't have the blue coloring I don't or something. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> where did he get the shoes from did they explain that I think those feet I think those wings just appeared honestly cause it, he just sort of the wings just went This man been a murderer since he was 10. (laughs) I got annoyed when he said child without love. He just went. So he wants to kill her so that scientists won't help the Americans find vibranium? I think that's why. I want to. I think so. Because he does realize people are born with like genius IQs, right? Yeah. (laughs) So you're going to like what? Keep killing scientists? I guess his mentality is because she sort of made 
or technically already made it because she said she made it for class or whatever. He's like, uh, well, if they don't have her, then they can't make it or something. I want to say that's the mentality. I think this is fucking stupid. I think that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> this, this dude does not know how genetics work. Or not even genetics, but like evolution. Like throughout generations and generations, there's going to continue to be genius people yeah. born even if they come from families that don't have any or all low iq or whatever so what are you, is he just gonna keep killing those people too when they come of age to do something i guess so it doesn't name or your plan just doesn't feel like it's thought through right it feels a lot like yeah. thanos's plan right uh, how he wants yeah. to cleanse the universe so there's no evil in it. That yeah. I see what you're trying to do, but you haven't thought this through, literally. Because yeah. literally half of the universe that's, that is here, there's still going to be some bad people here. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like a discount Thanos plan. <laughs> yeah, a half-baked Thanos plan. At least Thanos yeah. thought about it a little bit. I think this guy just woke up one morning. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to go do something. Yeah, he definitely woke up and chose violence. <laughs> yeah. You know why he's doing this? He's probably just bored. <laughs> That's why. I go, he's like, it's, it's pretty boring down here. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. What the fuck are we supposed to do? Ride whales? <laughs> Where is this? Like, what ocean is this in? I have no idea. <laughs> I always find it so funny when different worlds or, like, movies have, like, different worlds that are, like, in the ocean and this and that. They would all have to be, like, a low expect... Well, I don't know what that that drink has done to their life expectancy rate. But if half the world, right, if 70% of the world is water... Yeah. And they just put out a statement saying that at least 60% of that 70% of water is f filled with plastic. I would imagine that they're not living healthy lives either. And being underwater is not necessarily the best plan for you. Yeah. I just feel like there's there's a lot more energy he can be putting into something else rather than killing scientists. Yeah. I don't know. Some good fan theories, though. Good fan theories. But you know what? Fuck the movie. Where is that one lady at? The bodyguard. <laughs> I'm trying to find her. Namor, where is she? What is her name? I bet it's something beautiful. I don't like the soundtrack either. I feel like it should be something else. Yeah, it's sort of. It feels like it doesn't really fit with what's what was going on. No, some Tanache would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> you know who that is? I do not, unfortunately. Tanache, she's like this R and B pop girl who's like her music video is always is like her at the beach in water. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the, I'm totally going to send you a music video right now and you can watch it in your own free time. <laughs> She's like insanely attractive. Is that like a bike next to her? What what is this thing? Isn't this movie called Black Panther? When is she going to put on the suit? <laughs> Yeah, where is the Black Panther? Yeah. <laughs> I I paid to see Black Panther 2. Not fucking Apocalypto the sequel. 
Squanto, A Warrior's Tale 2, which, by the way, have you ever seen that movie? I have not. It's it's on Disney+. Plus. I used to watch it when I was a kid. I used to love that movie. Okay, I sent you the music video. You can even see from the thumbnail, she's like super attractive. I mean, she doesn't look anywhere as close as good as this bodyguard lady, but <laughs> she's up there. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I wish I could talk to Namor. I have so many questions. Like, first off, who cut your hair? <laughs> you should go to war with that dude, not us. <laughs> What's the name of your barber? Yeah. Oh, my God. Of all the fucking technology y'all have, you can't, like, make some decent clippers? <laughs> this, this shit is wild, man. What? Wait, what? Yo, he can't be serious right now. Chris, I'm about to go off on this movie. If I'm if I'm thinking what I'm thinking, if his logic is what I think it is right now, his people are for what I'm getting. He his people have remained in secret because he's still he's still holding views from like what the 1600s, eight or 1700s, yeah of of him thinking white people are going to enslave them because they look a certain way, right? Like how it was back yeah. then. And that's why he wants to, that's why he wants to stay in captivity or in same. Re- <gasps> is that her? That's her. <laughs> she is so fine. Anyway, I like how your train of thought was stuck. Yeah. Right <laughs> but she's in the water now. I got to pay attention, but that's why he wa- he wants his people to remain hidden, and then at the same time, why he wants to rage war with the rest of the world. Um, it seems to me that Namor has been living under a rock, literally. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think he's understanding the, the advancements <laughs> that the world has taken since the fucking sixteen hundreds. Yeah. Uh, granted. There's still million dollar slaves being traded every day in the NBA, NFL, M- M- MLB, all this stuff. There's still a lot of racial tension happening. There's still a lot of bullshit going on. However, it is not as radical as what this man is thinking it is. Yeah. Not even close. 
I mean, all this man would really have to do is sit down and watch that Martin Luther King movie. My friend Martin. You remember that? Yeah. The car- the cartoon? Yeah, I, I remember that one. <laughs> That's really... Him and his people need to have a movie night. <laughs> just have a movie night and just watch this film. I think my man just needs to go up to the surface and, and see what's going on for a little bit and then rethink his plan. My man needs to take one trip to USC college campus and see some of these white girls. <laughs> he will change his views. Not all white people are bad. Not all of them. I I even want to go as far as this to say, well, I don't know. The reason why he hates white people is the reason it's going to be the reason why there's still going to be white people like that around. If that makes sense. Yeah. Americans? Why is it only Americans? Right? You live in the... Where is this? Where where are they right now? What ocean is this? It's like probably not even the closest to America. Yeah. This shit is crazy. Yo, you know what? Namor is a fucking bitch. (laughs) You know what? I just now thought about this. This dude is a fucking sissy. You mean to tell me you have all this integrity to keep your people safe and have uh, and to kill off quote unquote white people for having them be enslaved and all this shit, but then yet your descendants that are living over there in Mexico and and fucking Guatemala and all those other countries over there, you're just gonna let them just be themselves? What pieces of shit? That's my girl, right? No, don't shoot her. No. Chris, stop her. Uh, don't do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. 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 You can't. No. I can't believe she's dying. I would say the most romantic thing to her. In her in her final final like final moments. It would honestly be like some Titanic shit. How did she find him? That's crazy. She was able to find him and then the rest of the Wakandan soldiers couldn't. I guess maybe the submarine thing she was using sort of had a tracker. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm willing to believe that. You know what? I think I'm just giving this movie too much credit. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm, well I'm a little lost. <laughs> I'm a little lost why they have, what's her name from Seinfeld in an MCU movie? Uh-oh, look, there's Namor. Just in time. Oh, he's like, no. Dude, she is so fucking beautiful. Take her mask off so we can see her. I will save you. I would have kissed her in a passion. Like, <laughs> take off the mask. Take off the mask. Take off the mask. I would have been yelling at in the theater. Damn. God. 
This is the worst death in the MCU. I thought you better say this is the worst movie. <laughs> no, this is definitely the worst death. The worst movie is still going to be Love and Thunder. I can't believe she's dead. Dude, this can be an entire different MCU movie right now. We need to explore the vastness of the galaxy and find some type of fountain of life or something to bring this woman back. You know what I'm saying? We need to like search for the Dragon Balls or something. Oh boy, he's pulling up. Oh, he's like we're about to go to war. I gotta get dripped out he, now. He looks like that guy from Mortal Kombat. Kind of does. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. I think I do. I forgot his name, but he's like in the newer Mortal Mortal Kombat movies. This doesn't, his logic makes no fucking sense. Even, like, Thanos' plan was fucking stupid, but it, he's making Thanos look like a genius with his, with his logic right now. Also, I find it really funny how in the comics, if you were to, like, look up a photo of Namor, he just looks like some white dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I like how this movie was like, no, 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 no. They're like totally like um uh indigenous uh descent. Yeah. That's not the only empire that's underwater now. I don't think they met the Inhumans. That dude, Black Bolt's no joke. <laughs> that dude, a whisper can can level an entire state. Dang. It's all over if my man if Black Bolt sneezes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Hold your breath. <laughs> You just tell him you're gonna sneeze, sneeze that way. <laughs> you just like turn him around the face the other way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wonder how does he do that? Like, how do you not sneeze, cough, or anything? I don't know. I don't know. They're really cool though. The Inhumans. I would say some of the best comic book movies to watch are the what are they called? Is it Legacy? Marvel movies? I forgot what they're called, but they're basically like stop animation, actual comic strip movies based on really popular. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, comic. And um, the Inhumans one was like freaking amazing how they kind of describe their people and what they do because it's kind of like. um. So the story just takes place about. When the Inhumans are born, they're just, like, normal, right? They're kind of like humans. Yeah. They're just normal. But when they reach a certain age, like 16, 17, or even 18, they start to get their powers. And depending on your power, you, you're kind of selected into whatever class you'll be in, which yeah. their world suffers great greatly from, like, classism, um, yeah. you know, like, they'll treat you differently if, like, you know, how much money you have, what's your powers and stuff like that. So, 
it's it's awesome to see that it takes place uh, the, the movie takes place about a, a little girl who is just like waiting for the days for her to get her power and she has a best friend and they're like really scared that they're not going to be on the same level of powers so they're not going to see each other again yeah yeah it's phenomenal that one's really good my favorite one is spider woman that one was freaking amazing um the x-men one is by far the best one freaking amazing because it really shows you what the x-men are all about and how they uh like everything they do is literally like you would never hear about it like they would save the world and people would never never know like it's just a normal (laughs) day for them it's freaking amazing They would have to expect this, no? Yeah, you would think they would have some form of, like, a defense or something. But not even that. Like, they should expect them to go to war with them after you just recaptured your your prisoner, right? Yeah. And they already know where you live. Why wouldn't they retaliate? I think this queen of Wakanda is a fucking shit ruler. I think we need a democracy. (laughs) (laughs) I think a democracy needs to be in place. Why did that look so funny? <laughs> like, blew up and then they launched. Okay, but the thing is, he just threw him in water. <laughs> and, like, that's where the guy normally is anyway. Right, yeah. So, like... <laughs> he doesn't know any better. <laughs> well, there he is. Wait. What a bitch. What happened to his like crown he had on earlier? Yeah. Yeah, he should have kept that. That was pretty badass. Wait, who's that? Is that another Wait. pretty warrior? Isn't that the one? Wait, that was the one from On the Bridge. Wait, was it? Yeah, because she had the same feather thing on. So she's alive! <laughs> oh my god, so we got faked that. Oh, whoa. He just destroyed this man's armor. I would imagine that's what it feels like to be punched by LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. Or, or if Aaron Donald just decided to just punch me dead in the chest. What's the speed this guy can reach with his wings? You know, it's crazy. In the comics, it wasn't like any wings or anything like that. Like, he's naturally yeah. just that fast. Like, he's fast enough to dodge bullets. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> this is mighty impressive, but it's still one man. Yeah. The Avengers would take this fool out. <laughs> I I still believe Iron Man would take this dude out. Yeah, he would definitely like 
build some tech to kind of counter against him. Yeah, I think Iron Man would take this dude out. The Hulk would definitely take this dude out. No question. <laughs> and not, not I'm not talking like MCU Hulk or anything like that. MCU, yeah. MCU Hulk is pretty fucking weak, but like yeah. actual Hulk <laughs> would totally demolish this guy. Silver Surfer will wipe the floor with this clown. Oh my god, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Gamora will wipe the floor with this guy too. I just don't understand. I just don't understand, bro. Like, you live under a rock. How have you not kept up to date with anything by having such advanced technology? Right? It seems like he's just very indecisive, right? At first, it was about the scientists. Now he's telling us it's not about the scientists. Oh, my God. Those water bombs, man, are lethal. I wouldn't mind having a couple of those. <laughs> Use them on the freeway, most definitely. <laughs> I hate when people cut me off and just be like, pew. <laughs> if some car cuts you off, you just like crack open the window, <laughs> <just> throw it <laughs> at them. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be awesome. Honestly, this would be a freaking amazing technology to have for, uh, for forest fires. Oh, yeah. You could just throw a water grenade and... Yeah, just, just get a helicopter. The water there. Yeah. This would be amazing. Dude, think of how many animals we can save. And, and Namor thinks the world's gonna hurt him. He'd be helping the world. Yeah. Fucking bitch. <laughs> such a... God, I can't stand you, Namor. Oh my god. This is the worst type of scum in this world, what Namor is. He's one of those... What is it? A a, ty- a tyrant? No. He's a tyrant and he's a warmonger. It seems like the Namor people, Namorians, whatever they're called, it yeah. seems like they're it's, that's a dictatorship too. Or not even a yeah. dictatorship. Well, technically it's a dictatorship, but it seems more like a... Uh, what's that word called? Um, it starts with a D. Where it's like they follow kings and queens. Um, yeah, I forgot what it's called. Hold on, I'm going to look it up. Because I... Yeah. I play a strategy game that does all that stuff. So you mean to tell me two characters, technically, because Chadwick Boseman is a character in the movie, two characters have died and we still got no Black Panther? Yeah. This is insane. I think I hate this movie. I mean, there's like an hour-ish left. I don't understand why. Maybe that that fight is going to be super long. (laughs) Yeah. Which, by the way, that first Black Panther movie, the fight between Killmonger and uh, and the actual Black Panther towards the end is like the worst MCU fight ever. 
Nö. Okay, I think it's called auto autocracy. Is that what it is? It's not monarchy. I know that. I think it's autocracy or autocracy. Yeah, autocracy. There is no way that they would allow this. Are the people of Wakanda that stupid? You literally have no leader. You know what the Wakandans are? The, the Wakandans are like the people of Naboo from Star Wars. Just fucking stupid. <laughs> You're just allowing your entire planet that has amazing resources be controlled by a 16-year-old. <laughs> you deserve whatever happens to you. I hope they all die. Yeah, autocracy is a system of government in which the absolute power over a state is concentrated in the hands of one person whose decisions are subject neither to external legal uh, restraints nor to regularize uh, mechanics or mechanisms of popular control. That's exactly what the Namor people have and the Wakandans have. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, that's so sexy. I love a woman that knows her olive oil. Real talk. <laughs> Anderson Cooper's back. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Because he's back. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he here? If Anderson Cooper's here, then then where is Wes's face from the 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 late show? Where's Stephen Colbert? <laughs> he needs to make a cameo. Maybe he's a uh, he's an end credit scene. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> he's the he's the next villain. <laughs> we think he's so beloved for speaking truth on his talk show, but in reality, he's trying to kill us all. Yeah, in the MCU, he just hates superheroes. <laughs> oh my god. Then I'm with him. I hate superheroes too. <laughs> uh, duh, we would do the exact same shit. <laughs> Which is why we need to take it from them, because we we're in, we can acknowledge that, right? This isn't rocket science. I feel like there's no this shouldn't be a gray area. It's just this is literally one of those situations where it is black and white. We have to take that technology from them, yeah, and use it for ourselves, and hopefully we'll share it to the rest of the world. But. Just take it for ourselves. Um, yeah. I don't want anything to happen like Fallout. You ever play those Fallout games? Yeah, I've played a couple. Yeah, I've seen I at absolutely. least playthroughs of them. Yeah, I, I absolutely love them. But you don't want it to be like a situation like that where everybody has like this massive nuclear weapons and they just decide, all right, well, fuck it. Let's all just go to war and just nuke each other. Yeah. Which, why would they do that? Like, if you have no advantage in a war, why would you go to war? <laughs> yeah, that is so fucking stupid. Why is Trevor Nora? I don't know. I give up. It's just him saying... 
yes, princess. Yeah. And then just pure silence right after that. <laughs> it's like, is nobody going to say anything? Yeah. It's, oh, my God. I don't even think he's that good of a voice actor. Surprisingly, some of the best actors in the world are like shit voice actors. No. Um, well, they're probably like, oh, this is completely different because you don't really see me getting into it. Yeah. It's actually like um like Cyberpunk 2077 is one of my favorite video games of all time. Such an amazing experience playing that. But the yeah. character Johnny Silverhand whose voice by yeah, Keanu, Keanu Reeves, Reeves of all people. <laughs> yeah. Such a phenomenal actor, generational talent. He was so fucking shit in that video game. <laughs> <laughs> he was so like that was the that's the only thing I can knock on Cyberpunk like just get someone else to do it. Yeah. I would prefer Justin Bieber. Honestly, his lifestyle fits more to that character. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bitch made Wakanda. I'm sorry. There's no way, like, the comic the comic version of Wakanda is vastly different. Vastly different. There's no way that they can continue to, their people can have faith in their government or anything like that without a, a Black Panther present. Yeah. That's crazy. That's like us. That's, like, if there was no president, literally everything would fall apart. People will stop believing in the currency, right? Yeah. They will stop believing what the American dollar is worth, and they just start doing their own shit. People will stop paying their taxes. People will, People will just start shooting fraud. each other more often than now. <laughs> Basically, the the purge would become a real thing. Exactly, the purge. That's another line of movies that are so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't watch Multiverse of Madness. I guess maybe that would be my next one. I didn't watch that one, but I heard that one features American Chavez or Amer- America Chavez. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you, did you see that movie? I I did. I watched it with a couple of friends. Like the was it the day it came out or like a day or two? How was it? I thought it was very all right. <laughs> 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 like every other MCU movie. I very well, I really like the first Doctor Strange, and honestly, I was kind of like, I feel like this is one where I I still th- felt like the first one was a bit better than this one. Yeah, the first Doctor Strange wasn't bad at all. Yeah. I didn't I didn't watch the beginning of it for whatever reason, but I already knew about Doctor Strange. But the rest yeah. of the movie was pretty interesting. I like this music, though. Yeah. This is the type of shit I want to play at my wedding when I marry that bodyguard. <laughs> yeah, when you marry the lady with all the, the feather headdress. Yes. This is, this, I want the music to be a blend of my culture and her culture. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we would make such beautiful babies. I just know it. <laughs> I feel like she should be the Black Panther. I could see it. Yeah, she has more of a, you know, more fortitude and determination. Yeah. And I actually trust her. (laughs) Yeah. And I mean, sort of being the Black Panther seems like more of a physical 
type of role than like super you know technological yeah i think is a big huge conflict of interest if anyone from the royal family is a black panther yeah all right it's not like it's like don't let the person who's in charge of the entire fbi be the president of the united states yeah. <laughs> What did she do? Did she create that orb thing? Um. Yes. Yeah. That, that I think is it was the did. like the herb stuff that they drink in the first movie. Yeah. Wait. Why is she doing this? What makes her qualified? <laughs> She's doing this because of her, her birthright, and it's not. It's not. Somebody I'm run a duel this. real quick. Somebody run a duel. <laughs> yeah, or something. There should be some type of evaluate. Like, <sighs> see, this is what happens when countries don't prepare for the worst, and when their yeah. when their entire government is in a schmuck, they just resort to uh, crazy, crazy uh, decisions like this. Yeah. Makes no sense. The Dude, other girl my, should be the Black Panther. Yeah. My question is, if they basically filled a good amount of that bowl with the, the herb, whatever, then why don't they just use all of it if they pour that much? Like, there was still a good amount left over. Oh, yeah. And, like, everyone drinks it? Somebody else going to be? Uh, there's going to be another Panther? <laughs> I vote for myself. I think I should be a Black Panther. <laughs> Yeah, you should, you should I'm the, the only one with logic quick. around here. <laughs> go in the lab real quick. Grab grab some of that. <laughs> yeah, grab some of that. Uh, what did that? What did that even look like? I don't know. Like, I know it was purple. Yeah, like what's purple and it's drinkable? I'm trying to think. There's like nothing. <laughs> There's like yeah. nothing on on Earth. That's like. There's like always like food dye. You always put something purple in it, but like there's yeah. nothing like naturally purple that's yeah. from a drink. Finally, a real king. Yeah, call her out. Call her out. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> uh, look at his chest, man. If I had those many dots, that, that body girl would be into me. I just know it. She's been like, you know what? I'm not going to attack the, the Americans, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She wants love instead. <laughs> She'll be like, let's run away together. Absolutely. We would... We would build a little house and go live somewhere in like Idaho. <laughs> Maybe with a little lake, you know, that you can you can build a little lake Absolutely. empire whatever. <laughs> We're having at least 7 kids. Boy, he's not the reason why he's dead. That's not fair. I don't think this movie should exist. (laughs) (laughs) It's gotten to this point.
I think maybe it just had a better script. Or if, like, m- the motivations for some characters, like, made more sense. Yeah. You see that? This is why you weren't supposed to drink it. Oh my... What? (laughs) I feel like that's what it'll feel like to be punched by... Who's someone famous? A famous athlete. (laughs) I feel like... Grunk Gorkowski... That's what it feels like to be punched by him. Yeah, you would just launch out of a wall and just... Um, absolutely. Any, I feel like any woman who has rejected a guy twice, when he keeps asking for the number and how angry she feels, I feel like that's what it'll feel like to be punched in the, in the chest by them. Okay, wait, so... How? Where did this helmet just come from? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Nothing makes sense. Just, there's no logic. It just appeared. <laughs> yeah, there's no logic. I can't believe this is how they elect. Why would they ever accept this? There's no way they should accept the, her being a Black Panther. There was no ritual. There was no consult in the council. There's no anything. Yeah. You just decided to take this in your own hand. This is a ludicrousy. That's what this is. They should kill her. Literally, where she, where she stands. <laughs> There's that much of a disrespect to their culture. No, how is he going to lose like that? I would have punched her. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have been like, oh, you dropped the helmet. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> are, are you telling me that's how they, they were like, they're like, okay, they, they beat him in an arm wrestle. Uh, it's cool. <laughs> I can't wait till I post this on YouTube so that some of these other um, other people I follow on IG who are like super crazy fans of the MCU so they can hear what I have to say. Because this movie is some absolute bullshit. Yeah, but like, actually, uh, the motivation behind... <laughs> it makes literally no sense. All they have to do is sit down and watch my friend Martin. <laughs> their view, their views will change. So much has happened since then. It's just the 1600s. Namor just needs to have a conversation with anybody, you know, anybody who is above water right now. And he'd been like, okay. Bro, his entire, his entire way of thinking would change if he would just go to any university, any Ivy League university, and, and see... There's like a, a a cultural studies class, right? It can be yeah. on like indigenous people, black people, whatever, and just see that half of half of the people in the room are just white, trying to learn about this. <laughs> this is just... yeah.
Fuck that queen. She didn't know what she was doing. Sorry, Sherry, but your mom was an idiot. And a loser. <laughs> no disrespect, whammy. though. Yeah, no disrespect, <laughs> though. Did you see? Did you see that dude on the NBA got fined like a bunch of money for his post game interview? He said, he said, because uh, Kevin Durant got traded from his team, yeah. and someone asked him, uh, "How do you feel about that?" And then he's like, "You know, no, there's already a, a bunch of a, a, a good looking guys on our team already. No homo." <laughs> <laughs> My God, that shit was hilarious. They're about to put him through all the insensitivity training in the world. This is like a uh, this is unfortunately like a never ending cycle. No. But what makes her like you shouldn't be leading your people like at all, not even close. <laughs> I want her as the Black Panther. She's the only one qualified. Yeah. What's her name? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know if they've uh, really yeah. said her name. Her name is something. I don't know. I'm calling her Queen because <laughs> that's what she is—a black queen. Look at her; she's so skinny. You would think the next Black Panther would at least have some meat on their bones or something, but I guess that's yeah. just that, that shouldn't matter. You ever play Red Dead Redemption 2? Yes, I have. Uh, my favorite quote in that game, and my favorite quote in recent memory is from that game. It's, uh, revenge is a fool's game. I say it all the time. No. Yeah. Really good game. I really enjoyed that game. I just I hate the, sto- the story was too long. The story's yeah. way too fucking long. And then I hate that it was a f- stupid prequel. Like, who gives a shit about these yeah. characters? Jeez, sorry, that was the most, like, aggressive cut. <laughs> they were just like, there was no vibranium detector, and it just, like, flipped to, like, a super wide screen, saying the Atlantic Ocean. There she is! <laughs> <laughs> My baby! I gotta, I gotta, we gotta make sure we really look at the credits for this movie. So I can get her name. Oh, dude, that's it! We gotta find the actress! Oh, dude, I bet she's Gorgeous. She's gonna look like Selena Gomez mixed with Hillary Duff, mixed with Megan Good. <laughs> Imagine her credit is like Namorian person with feather headdress. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know who that is. Oh, okay, okay. You didn't even know the queen. I'm going to admit, that suit kind of looks like someone out of Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I don't like the suit. It looks, yeah, it looks too much. God damn. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the suit looks too cartoony. Yeah. There she is. I would I not mind team. not wearing the pants in that relationship. <laughs> she can do whatever she wants. I'll follow her lead. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to. 
she if she says no, we're going out to eat at this restaurant, I'm not gonna complain. <clears throat> Doesn't she have to learn how to fight? Well, I would imagine she knows some combat skills. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way you're like the royal guard or whatever, or you're part of the royal family. You don't know how to defend yourself. That was kind of cool that he just dodged that. It's kind of like, yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm telling you, his reflexes make Spider Man look slow as shit. Jeez. Yeah, she needs a new design for this suit. It looks super slow. <laughs> Iron Man would have been up, would have been up there in like literally half a second. Yeah. Wait, what? He was dodging the stuff without looking. How did he not dodge that? Yeah, I don't know. Nothing makes sense. As long as my baby girl's okay. (laughs) What is up with this movie changing aspect ratio suddenly? She like popped in the ship and it just changed. Hmm. Ooh taking all the moist out of the air. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like this suit. She looks super CGI. Yeah, I don't like it. What are they doing? Where are they going? Did they make sure the people were dead? Yeah, I guess not. She's still there. Yeah, that's my baby girl. Oh. She popped a water grenade in there. Yeah, you didn't think it was going to be that easy. They defeated them pretty easy, didn't they? Yeah, they just kept knocking them off the ship. Yeah, as advanced as they are, they're still kind of primitive. (laughs) I think Thanos' army would have wiped the floor with them, honestly. No, yeah, for sure. Oh, Oh shit, is that all those bombs? I think they are. Damn! So the real question is, do those bombs, like, do they work on contact? I don't know how they work. That would be a very interesting uh, analysis to, for someone to do. <laughs> a deep dive into how they, uh, how the Namor bombs work. Yeah, that would be <laughs> the awesome. water grenades. I do feel like those, these bombs, these Namor bombs are really cool. And I don't know if you played Spider-Man Miles Morales video game. Oh, Have you yeah. Played that? Yeah, yeah. The freaking gravity grenades or bombs that he has. Oh are yeah. Fucking amazing. I'm like, <laughs> bro, why if that was like real, that would be insane. Yeah. <clears throat> Imagine that. Sherry, do something. You're just watching him doing it. Okay, the thing is, though, you would think that, like, they would make, like, their ships and all the stuff they make with vibranium, like, vibranium proof, or been like, okay, if somebody somehow gets vibranium and can cut through this, we better make it more defensed. Well, it doesn't make sense how vibranium can cut vibranium. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like using metal to cut metal. That's not. 
that doesn't make sense to me. I'm sure probably in others circumstances yeah. it might right if it was like a thick metal or like a less thick metal or whatever yeah. but that's like me trying to take a rock and i'm trying to cut into another rock no i don't know that i'm maybe i'm just an idiot <laughs> well maybe they're using like a slightly advanced vibranium or like super refined i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> now now we're just making excuses Whoa, what is what is this? What is a suit? That's remember the suit she made earlier? Like oh, the, I don't like, like it. Goofy looking one? Yeah. I don't like, like it. It was her and some other lady were like flying around in them. Yeah, I don't like it. It looks like It looks like It just looks really goofy, honestly. Yeah. It looks honestly like um, I don't know if you've seen Hellboy One, but it looks like those monsters. <laughs> Killmonger would have knocked his ass out by now. Oh, dang! Yeah, you ain't shit without your uh, your Hermes boots. <laughs> That's what that shit is. Is Hermes? basically yeah <laughs> bitch wrong mythology <laughs> you're in the wrong universe oh she's going after the power ranger <laughs> no she's not gonna win that battle uh oh final battle final battle scene This suit is ugly, man. It's ugly. This suit looks like a like from one of the Spy Kids movies or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which Spy Kids movie? Which one are you talking about? Because I love those movies. I just feel like it'd be like one of the villains or something would dress up in a suit like that. Yeah. Even it's... even the Spy Kids three like video game suits they wore look better than that suit. <laughs> Yeah, very goofy. Dude, she is beautiful. No! Why did they change, like, the aspect ratio when they go back to the Neymar fight? That's what I'm, like, it's it's just so jarring, because it's, like, it's not even, like, we're yeah. at that fight for long. It'll just cut to it for a little bit, and then, like, sh see the biggest difference. Shit's weird. I always hate when superheroes fight because sometimes it's just like two overly powered people just throwing blows, and at the most of the time it's just uh, Dang. you know, you're equally matched. Mm. I don't know how you allowed him to do that to you. Again, Hulk would have destroyed this guy. <laughs> yeah, good luck doing this to the Hulk. Hulk would have, like, ripped off one of his arms by now. Yeah. Started beating him with that arm. <laughs> yeah, war, 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 Hulk would... It, mm -mm, not even, it's not even funny how much he would demolish him. Superior Spider-Man would destroy this clown. Oh, yeah, for sure. Black Panther would have destroyed this fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like everyone would destroy this clown except for her because she doesn't know how to be a Black Panther and she's not the best fighter. No.
Rocket would destroy this fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Groot would solo this man. No, Groot would one hundred percent destroy this clown. Groot is low key OP because he can't. He technically he can't die. It's I mean, he of, can, but he's like it's yeah. very hard to kill him. Instead of flipping over him, I thought she went to jump him, and she actually just missed. <laughs> Like, how she went over him, I was like, did he just, like, duck down in time? And she was like, she's like, oh, no, I missed. Mm. All of that, and he only got a crispy back? That's not how fire works. <laughs> just... He died from that? No way. I was basically dead. There you go. Kill him. What? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That was so random. This is a fact he just was like... <laughs> <laughs> that was so random. Whatever. Kill him. Do it. I'm trying to make like a Palpatine voice. Do it. Is this Doctor Strange? <laughs> I don't know. This is weird. I'm What's reversing happening? it backwards. Someone, someone has the time stone. And someone tell my bodyguard that I have the beauty stone waiting for her. <laughs> How do they? I'm. I understand they probably need water to survive, but there's. I don't. I don't think they're made. They shouldn't be made to to live underwater. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's probably like turtles. I feel like they they're more like turtles, if anything. Yeah. Like they can be underwater but they'll need to get out of water for a bit as well yeah because you you're still human right yeah. the human body still reacts a certain way when underwater at, at their long period of time right unless and this is me just speculating because they re haven't really explained what that goo was that they digested and what it does to their internal organs so maybe your your entire organ system has completely re-altered and you have no longer get pores from being underwater. You don't have all this other stuff yeah. that you can benefit from, from that most humans don't have from being underwater. But a lot of it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I think one point they said someone where or at least he said when he was telling the story was like, it made it that water was oxygen to them as well or something. But I don't know if that meant that was their only oxygen or they could still, you know, get oxygen being out um, of the water. That doesn't make... All right, if they're trying to say that, because that's like super heavy within science and I'm like a science nut. Yeah. Obviously, there's oxygen in water, right? It's, it's yeah. H2O for a reason. But I think they're, they're minusing out the hydrogen part as well. Yeah. What is this shit? Why is he still alive? This man really just said, really just got his ass beat and he swapped sides. <laughs> what a beta. He really was like, you know what? No. He's like, I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> what a beta. I mean, obviously they they had the mini conversation too, but it actually, but literally that dude just got like beat up and was like, you know what? <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> He's like, Maybe, maybe I spoke out of tune. You did all of that <clears throat> just to be told what to do at the end. What a bitch. What a shit ending. I hate this movie. Hey, that little kid is just like me when I got a burrito from a Chip Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so happy to get those burritos. That, like, hey, dancing. yeah. I hate that she's a Black Panther. I absolutely hate it. And it's not even one of those things. It's like. 
it's, ugh, I don't even. Like, you can be the Black Panther. I have no problem with her being the Black Panther if she's capable of it. And she's not. Yeah. It's almost like a role she doesn't really fit into. No, she doesn't. She feel This is actually a great topic to talk about where people who are born into a certain place in their family and they feel the need that they have to do what's expected of them. Yeah. Right? It's like what you see from Michael Jordan and his kids. That has to be the utmost crazy amount of pressure to feel like you have to play basketball. Yeah. Shiri does not, or Shiri, whatever, how you pronounce her name, she does not have to be the Black Panther. You do not have to. Yeah. You're more than that. Fuck her, too. Did she kill my wife? You know what? I just thought about it. She's in college, so how did how did they get away with her just basically ditching school for a bit? No. Listen, the school doesn't give a fuck if you can pay the tuition. <laughs> no school in America gives a damn if you can still pay. They'll just fail you and then and then just be like, All right, well, you can come back. All right. I don't think GPA matters a damn thing as long as you can as long as you can pay. Yeah. As long as you can pay and as long as they can kind of tell what race you are, that's another thing that's happening in a Supreme Court case right now. Uh, I have not been keeping dibs on it. But you know there's a Supreme Court case that's happening right now, and it's about... um, It's a, it's about an, uh, an Asian an Asian American family suing Harvard for allowing them to, to put what race are you on their applications to be enrolled in. So if they win the case, they're saying that majority of universities in America cannot have that. Huh. Can you imagine? Uh, imagine that. Harvard's about to turn into a black campus. <laughs> that would be amazing. No, oh, that's her. No, that's not her. Is it? It might be. I don't even know anymore. No, they all look the same, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> I am very much happy to be a part of this culture. Namor, make up your fucking mind, bro. Oh, so we're just going to be like, we're going to use that to our advantage. I can't believe, I'm so, it amazes me how people are so excited for these fucking movies. Just to get table scraps. Yeah. I think that is her. And she looks as beautiful as ever. I want her. Or excuse me. That probably sounded wrong. But I do. I want her. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I want to be with you. Wait, why is he arrested? What happened there? Was it because he was talking back to the one lady? Why? Because you disrespected his olive oil? He can't say shit back to you? <laughs> no, don't talk shit about my olive oil. Damn. <laughs> oh my god, it's another... <laughs> Fuck this white guy. You don't you don't owe him anything. I hate that suit. I absolutely hate it. It's just so goofy looking, that's the thing. 
<laughs> Sherry looks goofy with these fucking shades on. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a human being wear those, like those big of a fucking shades. Jesus Christ. I feel like you're trying to block out more than the sun at that point. <laughs> Yo, why does this movie have 15 more minutes? Well, I think it's because you got to get the it's the end credits. And then I think obviously just a bunch of other credits stuff. I wonder what the end credits is going to be. Oh, maybe they're going to talk about Blade. I heard that's been a freaking I have, nightmare. I have actually seen the end credits for this. Oh, what is it? Um, So basically, when they're on this beach, there's... I don't know if they show it before or after, but there's like a kid who comes up. And the little kid is meant to be the son of... um The, the lady you said you were going to call the queen, who you said you want to be the Black Panther. and um, That's her son? Her, the little boy who comes up is her son, and what? the son says his name. But the son says his name is Prince T'Challa, basically meaning he's the son of T'Challa. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? That makes no sense. How was? Wait, that's it. Then, then the credits just ends. Yeah, there's like a little boy comes up and the the one lady's like, I want you to meet someone. He's like, I am Prince Luchella. <laughs> <laughs> and um and they're like, Prince Tuchala and he's like, son of King Tuchala. Oh my god. This is, this does not mean he needs to be the Black Panther people. <laughs> <laughs> I think this what this movie has taught us, just because of your lineage, you do not have to be ruler. Or you do not need to be the Black Panther, for the love of God. I mean, the thing that I just find funny about it is it makes it canonical that he smashed before he died. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? T'Challa gets my respect, then. <laughs> uh, no, that's like... Wow, that's the movie. What a shit ending. <laughs> what a shit ending. Holy crap. All right. Well, are there two end credits or just the one? Um, I only know of that one. I think there's no other end credits. Okay. So that is the movie. Let's um I guess let's I I I mean, I guess let's skip to the to the end credits. We can yeah. just skip to it. Just skip to it. Uh, figure out the time frame of it, talk about it, and then we'll get into our final thoughts of the of the actual film. Yeah. Um. Okay. Did you find it yet? <laughs> yeah. Where? Where? What time? What time are you at? Um. Hold on. Let me back a little bit. I think it was like this soundtrack is awful. Twenty two hours. 30 like 31 2 hours 31 minutes like 30 seconds ish 2 hours you mean 2 hours 41 41 no no it's um like oh. after she's on the beach yeah it's like there's those there's some credits and then it cuts them on the beach again oh damn i completely skipped it all right <laughs> um well, that's not like a in in credits. Usually, they like really wait for it. Okay, yeah. I see the back of her head. I'm pause. You let me know when you're there. All right, I'm there. All right, we're gonna start it in five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Let's see this little T'Challa. <laughs> Just a little T'Challa. This is look how big he is. He's not even like a little boy. He's damn near a teenager. How did, you... bro? Did she keep him a secret from T'Challa? No, I think T'Challa and her kept him a secret from everyone then. Why? Why would you do that when it's very much 
like wanted for you to have a uh, have a kid. Well, maybe he in the royal want family. his son to be, you know, been like, all right, your destiny is now the next Black Panther. He wanted his son to be in the NBA, so he like. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be famous, but not for being the Black Panther. <laughs> I want you to be normal. <laughs> I want you to be LeBron. <laughs> She's like, this This is a basketball, and this is a basketball hoop. <laughs> I'm going to practice your dunking for right now. <laughs> My god. What? His own ceremony? Mm. You are a shit parent. What? Your father has just been laid to rest and you told him not to go to the funeral? What? Dang. Fuck this kid. This kid just roasted her. <laughs> I hate this little kid. This little kid's a smart ass. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, right. My name LeBron is, is my father. Stichella. LeBron is actually my father, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him smile. <laughs> Bro, this is a you goofy just, smile. You just I dropped the know. bomb on her, and that's your reaction? <laughs> Bro, fuck this movie. What a complete disrespect to Chadwick Boseman. What a complete... He's rolling over his grave right now. <laughs> oh my god. Rest in peace, King. You deserve a lot better than this. Than this monstrosity. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what in the hell was that? <laughs> Dude, what in the hell was that? That's a, that's a good question. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Right, let's get right into it. So, this was Wakanda forever. <clears throat> Jesus effing Christ. <laughs> um, so much to talk about. So much to go through. The technology, Namor, Namor's people, my beautiful wife who died. There is just so much to, to escape. I don't know if we're going to get to it all, but hey, that's that's the beauty of podcasting. So, Chris, I'll start with you. What are your overall thoughts on... Wait, you, have you seen this movie before? Um, no, I've just seen the end credits before. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> this is your first time. Your first... Well, yeah. that's kind of like... You kind of ruined it for yourself, but... First time watching it, what are your thoughts on it? And what would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, I'd say it's it's kind of... You know, kind of in the middle for me. Like, a little bit, like... I don't know if you know what I mean, like kind of in the middle, like it's not good, but it's not terrible, but it's sort of on the lower side just because there was a lot of, there was a lot of moments that it was more, they just had so many questions and there was like kind of a lot of plot holes left and all that. That was kind of like, are we going to come back and answer this or like, well, why is this happening now? What a stupid fucking villain. <laughs> As someone as amazing as Namor is to the to the Marvel universe, and you literally treated him as, as like some whoever the hell Iron Man wanted Venom was, <laughs> oh, someone yeah. who's just a complete throwaway. That's like that's what he felt like, and he should have been a lot more than that. Yeah, because like in the beginning, he was just like you know he was like. Oh, my enemies call me this. So you're like, okay, this guy's like a really intimidating force. Right. And then he's like, it's just like, yeah. So um, I basically met, I basically went to the surface when uh, <laughs> slaves were a thing. And then I think, you know, they're probably still a thing nowadays. So um, I'm going <laughs> to just try and uh, destroy all Americans. <laughs> it Lord like, have mercy. Why Americans? <laughs> it's like, also why like just us? <laughs> have you been out of the ocean recently, Namor? Bro. <laughs> it's a little different. <laughs> Your people must be literally stupid. Like, the education of your people has to be close to dirt. <laughs> like, he said he had all this technology and, like, kind of replicated a son. 
for like the underwater kingdom so they still what? had one but like yeah that was the thing because it was like there was a sun and he was like we basically replicated the sun and i was like if you can replicate a sun how do you n- how do you not know what's like going on in the world that is fucking stupid <laughs> that is that is ridiculous i don't even think i can even i don't even think i could talk shit about it because it's just so stupid they don't want us to really think about it that has to be it. Yeah, I feel like it's just this movie sort of has like points where it seems like it's like the point that some character is saying or something is trying to sound really deep. But then like they'll keep going on with it and like it's sort of like it's like, OK, oh, that's a little deep. And then just as they continue, they're like, no, the the motivation's kind of stupid. They're like this. This isn't really that <clears throat> deep anymore. No, not at all. Not even close. OK, so my final thoughts on Wakanda forever um, this is as mainstream as you can get with like a mainstream movie, which you will get cool action scenes, really stupid dialogue, stupid premise, very attractive looking actors, <laughs> and very, very pretty shots. You know, just the movie looks beautiful at most parts, yeah. but then yet it's still very stupid and very dumb. So... I don't even think I don't even think it's possible to even rate a movie like this, to even rate it yeah. within the chronological order of MCU. Like when people say what's the best MCU movie, what's the worst one? Whatever list I come up with, Wakanda Forever can never be on that list because yeah. this movie shouldn't exist for for what it just presented me with. None of this shit matters. None of the characters are important. Uh it's I don't know. I'm just like literally flabbergasted with what I just watched. I think what got me too was just like, it wasn't even in the final fight. There's like other scenes where they just like drastically changed the aspect ratio. And it was like, there was yeah. like two completely different ones that they kept swapping between. So it was like, you, it felt like it sort of took you out the moment a little bit. Yeah, that didn't <laughs> like, make what? sense. I thought the first fight between the bodyguard the Wakanda bodyguard and then this other Aztec dude was pretty freaking cool. I was like, this is like vastly different from what they normally do. There's no, there's no music, only sound effects. And they stay on shots for at least two to three and a half seconds. No, there's not that really chopping and cutting. Yeah. I like that a lot. I thought that was cool. That was, that was really good. (laughs) That's what I can appreciate about the film. That's my appreciation. Yeah. Everything else, the soundtrack, even like the guy who plays Namor. God, I wish I could really be a part of those discussions now. Because I remember when this movie came out and everyone on Twitter was talking about it. or like, oh, Namor's so cool. Namor's this and that. Like, are these people fucking stupid? <laughs> like, this is who you think deems as cool? Deem as like a hero to his own people? Yeah. This is freaking and this is insanity it's absolutely insanity it's like i don't it's like it's literally like a world or a community still being left in the dark ages because their ruler is like a they're just so narrow-minded yeah that's basically what it is um yeah I, I thought the outfits. First off, I want. I just want to talk about the whole government system that they have over there in Wakanda and how stupid it is. This uh, autocracy, auto, autocracy, auto, autocracy that they have there is freaking dumb. It's freaking stupid. The queen Angela Bassett, her death. What is with this new phase? Is this this is this counts as phase four, right? I think so. Yeah. What is yeah. with phase four MCU and having meaningless deaths? Like all the deaths that have happened, I have smiled and prayed that they happen. <laughs> like when, when MJ, not MJ, Aunt May died and Spider-Man No Way Home. I was so yeah. freaking ecstatic for that. Like, thank God she's dead. Maybe, maybe now Peter Parker can grow some balls. <laughs> and then Mary... Aunt May shouldn't be hot anyway. Like, that was just weird. And now you have Angela Bassett's character, who's a freaking dictator, 
who doesn't who doesn't even consider other people's opinions when how to rule a freaking country and thinks everything should just be hers just for birthright is absolutely insane. It it, it honestly amazes me that there's no cr- well I don't think we know if there's no crime, no no hate amongst each other in Wakanda. They don't really explain that. But since they didn't, I'm going to say there's not. It amazes me that there's no hate, there's no crime, there's no sickness or anything. Well, I guess maybe there's sickness cuz they said the Black Panther died of a sickness. I guess. Well, well yeah. but whatever. It amazes me how perfect that society is and how well they're able to to function, but and yet their higher hierarchy government officials are absolute idiots. Yeah, no, it's it's interesting. It it's literally the opposite of what would happen in the real world. Yeah. Um yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting movie. Fun to talk about. Um, Chris, uh, before we get out of here, what what's something that you can appreciate from this film? Because there is someone out there who's this is their favorite movie. Yeah. Um, I mean, some of the some of the moments with Namor, like specifically when he was fighting, was pretty cool. I admit, some of the some of the moves he was doing. Also, when they used the water grenades, those were pretty yeah, cool. Those are awesome. Yeah. But um, yeah, pretty much kind of just the the action and fighting scenes with the water tribe, whatever they're called. <laughs> yeah, what are they called? Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Namorians? No, that's not it. I can't. I, I don't know. They'd be. I don't know if they'd be named after their leader that much. They might be. He's that much of an idiot. <laughs> that He's true. that much of an idiot. What freaking Wakanda is Wakandians, aren't they? I think so. Something along that lines, at least. Or Wakanda people. It's just stupid. It's all just stupid. Yeah. Iron Man is rolling over his grave as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Captain America is rolling over his grave. Oh, my God. What a fucking lackluster piece of trash film. I can't even... I can't even, I can't even process this. Yeah. But one more thing I can say I'm appreciative of is this actress. Not even the address, because she's like, whatever. But the character, this beautiful uh, bodyguard lady. God, she is amazing. I want... Give me give me a Disney Plus series about her. I want to know her origin story. <laughs> <laughs> Disney Plus that character, please. None of this other bullshit of, like, Miss Marvel. Even though I love Miss Marvel, but I don't care for the MCU version. Yeah. Um... Yeah, but that's the podcast. That's that's the final thoughts. Maybe my next adventure will be Multiverse of Madness because I do, I do want to see how they incorporate the X Men into that because I do love the X Men with all my heart. They're like my favorite yeah. group, favorite team in the, in the Marvel and in, in, in all of freaking superhero fandom. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you again, Chris, for being a part of this. It was a long oh, yeah. watch through. <laughs> hopefully next one's maybe a little bit shorter <laughs> yeah hopefully hopefully we'll, we'll see <clears throat> um yeah i'm gonna definitely edit this and get it posted today so thank you again for listening if you're on youtube leave a comment below if you're on uh spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast uh yeah you know what to do rate it or something i don't know maybe we could just go to the next episode i guess <laughs> <laughs> or just leave the podcast all in general because it's like super freaking long long podcast but all right um i will see you on the next one but until then victory or death star fighters victory or death <laughs>